Opening packs of trading cards is an exhilarating experience. You get to open a product you enjoy with the potential to pull rare and valuable cards. For this reason, thousands of people around the world spend their hard-earned money on children's card games. What are these rare and valuable cards? Some are used to play in their respective TCG metagames, while others have cool rarities and difficult pull rates. These chase cards are the end goal for most people when opening packs, but the chase can go even deeper. Sometimes printing errors can cause certain packs or cards to become even more sought after. An error pack could contain multiple chase cards, misprinted no-name cards, or almost anything you could imagine. Today, I will be showing you my top 10 error pulls on my channel and explain just how rare these instances are. Today's giveaway will be five Duelist Pack Crow first edition packs. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite error moment from the channel or one from a different channel in the comments. At number 10, we have an entire box where half of the packs were completely secret rare. So in this box, it was supposed to be five cards, four of them being ultras and one of them being a secret, but instead it was five secret rares per pack and half of the packs. Not every single pack potentially could be misprinted. We are looking for a full misprint pack, you know, all secret rares or something like that. So, oh, is this one? Infernoid Tierra. So we have a secret rare. Another secret rare. So this was the guy who opened all those and he still didn't get Forbidden Droplet. It was the big meme. He opened all these packs. He got all these secret rares, but he didn't get Droplet. So we have another one. Utopic Sage. It looks like they are misprinted, or at least some of them. And Speedroid Scratch. We <laughs> didn't get any good secret rares there, but they were all secret. Let's see. We're not going to mess with it too much. We're going to try not to cut too much. Toy Parade. So it looks like it's every other car, every other one. Dragonroid. Relinquished Animal. That's a pretty cool one. Okay, Utopia Dragon R. And Leo Utopic Raid. On to the next pack. Will this be our secret rare? Let's see. This is crazy. This is so weird. I've never opened this kind of a box, so it was really exciting when he told me. Okay. Noble Knight Shield <laughs> Bear or Dying. Speedroid Scratch. Bird Strike. Wing Recruital. And the double exposure. That was a crazy opening. I hope you guys enjoyed the factory airiness. If this was in a different set, this would be one of the craziest openings I've ever done. But in this specific set, there was a track record of this happening. So the guy who sold it to me was pretty sure that inside it was going to be the secret rare full packs. This kind of made it not as crazy because, you know, when you're expecting something versus when you get shocked by an error, it's not as crazy. But just the fact that this was captured on camera, I thought deserved being in the top 10, but not too high. At number nine, I was actually opening every 2002 Yu-Gi-Oh! 10 ever made. The very first year they came out with them. So there were six different tens. I was going through each 10. I was opening them up. We we're having pretty good luck. And I get to the Blue Eyes White Dragon 10 for the final 10. Inside of these 10s, you're supposed to get the promo that is on the 10. So I'm expecting it to be a Blue Eyes White Dragon. I open it up. I look at the back. And here we go. Okay, there is a tiny bit of scuffing. What? What? Did you guys see that? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. You guys see this, right? This is not a Summon Skull tin. This is a Blue Eyes tin. You see what card I'm holding, right? A Summon Skull. There is a Summon Skull in our Blue Eyes tin. What? on earth is going on. This was completely shocking because I've never opened a 10 where there was also a different promo inside that was supposed to be in there. I remember being super shocked when I was recording this one and it was such a weird thing to happen that I thought it needed to make the top 10. This next one is kind of in the same vein as number nine. We were opening like a hundred Shining Victories packs. I was trying to pull some Blue Eyes White Dragon cards and now we got time, we still got time. You gotta believe guys, believe. Believe Ryu Okami Wonder XC's Raider Raptor Rank Up Magic Skip Force and Wait, where's the super rare? No super rare again! A few moments later. You got Monster Reborn. That common Monster Reborn from another set. What are you talking about? What are you guys talking about? Okay, okay. You guys trolling me? There's no Monster Reborn. You guys are lying to me. You're lying. I know you're lying. I'm still gonna look though. Liars. You guys are liars. Seriously, go back. All right, here's all the stuff. Here it is. We're going through. There's no Monster Reborn. You guys are just making stuff. What is happening? Why is there a monster reborn from Yuki's Legendary Dex in here? Look at this! It's from Yuki's Legendary Dex! 
Chat caught it. I didn't believe you. I honestly thought y'all were trolling. What? Are you kidding me? Is this a known error? What in the world? <laughs> the crazy thing about this one is Yugi's Legendary decks, the set that the Monster Reborn came from, came out November 13th, 2015. The set we were opening was from May 6th, 2016. So six months later, somehow a card from six months ago ended up in that set, and it wasn't opened until I opened it on live stream in 2021. At number seven, this was the weirdest experience I've ever had. I didn't know what was going on at the time, and I made a huge mistake mistake actually opening this pack. It was a very rare error pack that I found out later when I was getting roasted on like Facebook and Reddit and all these places. I just want you guys to experience this one. I want to be careful. These comments are, they, they just feel so good. They're the original. Whoa, what in the world? Time out. Guys? What is this? Guys? What is this? Okay, something weird is happening here. So yeah, guys, I don't know what the deal with this is, but we're going to see what happens when I Okay, what in the world? Can we, okay, can we open this? It, it's like, this is nuts. I don't know what this is. We're gonna open it up. And if there's like a Jinzo in here, they like marked the Jinzo pack, that'd be super weird. Okay, so that is strange. I'm just gonna keep that back here because that's crazy. Science Soldier, Driving Snow. There's a Harpy's Brother before they changed it to the Sky Scout, so that's really cool. Rate of Mercy. God. Guys, it was marked. Okay, first of all, but look at the damage on it. Are you serious? Oh no. What is up with that? What is that? That's super weird. Okay, this, this whole box is super weird. This was a pretty weird opening because it had the red tape error pack. I think that was worth a couple hundred bucks if we didn't open it, we probably shouldn't have, but it did end up getting that reverse foil gen. This was like a double error. It was an error pack that then inside of it had an error card, which was pretty awesome to experience. And I'm glad that we did open it to be honest because it was really cool. Number six was one of my very first error openings and it's something that I've only pulled once. I don't think it needs any further explanation, so let's hop right into the clip. The legendary Blue Eyes White Dragon. If we end with a foil here, this tin is amazing. So we got our Jinzo, our Secret Rare. We've got our Ultra Rare and our two Super Rares. So here we go. Okay, what in the world? The sides of these cards are interesting. All right, Enchanting Mermaid. Okay, what in the world is... Okay, what is this? You guys see that? It's blue. What is this? What is that? Blue for blue eyes? Like, what is going on? <gasps> no way! We pulled a test print card out of a blue eyes white dragon pack. No way! This is the most exciting thing that could have been in there. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I've ever seen this. That is insane. Number five is an absolute dream for any collector. So as I said earlier at number 10, pulling all those secrets in that one set would have been crazy in a different set, but because it was that specific set where it was happening a lot, it wasn't as crazy. But in this set, it was insane. I was opening a first edition Labyrinth of Nightmare box and we pulled not one, but two foils in the same pack. All right, Rudy C, we've got one pack. Rudy, Rudy. Let's go. Rudy, he's gonna sack the quarterback. <laughs> Which set would I consider the worst? It'd be one of the newest sets, probably. Just because, like, it would be a set before they added Starlights. They only had Secret Rares. They only had, like, Ultras and Supers. It'd be some one of those. I hated those sets because I was not remotely interested in them. All right, Rudy C, one pack. Spirit Lady, can we get the Gemini? Fusion Gate, Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh, the Ultra Rare Super Rare Misprint back. No way. I got to cover up my mouth so I'll spit all over it. Look at this. I have never seen this. A Super and a third Ultra from the box. This is crazy! This was a first edition opening of the fifth Yu-Gi-Oh set ever made, so 2003. This does not happen often. You don't see double foils coming out of this set. I've actually never seen a double foil except the one that we did, so this was insane, and to have it happen live, and it was a, someone who bought a pack, so they got double foils out of their pack, which was insanely awesome, and I was super happy for them, and it definitely had to make the list. This one, I wasn't sure if it should be better or worse than number five. They're very similar, but it was also Labyrinth of Nightmare, which it wasn't a double foil pack, but in this one, there was one pack in an unlimited booster box. You usually get 24 packs of unlimited, obviously. There was one first edition pack inside. Three packs. Here we go. Three Labyrinth of Nightmare. Good chance for an ultra rare here. Let's get this. Let's see what we can pull. 
Cardbreakers, good to see you here, man. Glad you're new. Glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, the purple packs look really nice, you got to say. Boneheimer. The unfriendly Amazon for Cody. Here we go, Cody. Swordsman of Land Style. Only the second time we've seen that? Is that real? Bait doll. Another bazoo. We got a repeat. What? First Ed? What are you talking about? Oh my gosh! Holy crap, it was first edition! No way! First edition pack! Wait, here it is! Here's the wrapper! I've never seen that happen! We've got an error pack! Or an error box, I guess! And not only that, he pulled a super! So that makes sense. There's a repeat because it, it probably wasn't supposed to be in this box. So this was also a box break that someone bought into. They bought an unlimited pack. So instead they got a first edition pack, which is awesome for their money. And then they got a foil. So it was super cool to see. So that was an awesome live experience. This one actually happened a really long time ago when I was opening a Dark Magician Girl 10. I think at the time we were under like 5,000 subscribers. It was just a wild occurrence where we opened a Dark Magician Girl 10 from 2005 and we got five packs that usually get plus we got a sixth pack this is a fan favorite tin that's why it's so expensive so hope you guys do enjoy this one it's pretty dirty because because when the wrap kind of gets holes in it then stuff can kind of sneak through there from just like being there so here we go let's see what we can do here what is this? here we go with the booster packs we have the lost millennium in here check out this pack is that a Euro pack? Are we in, do we have European packs? Dark Beginning, Dark Revelation, Soul of the Duelist. Wait a second. Wait a second. There's only supposed to be five packs in here. I knew something was fishy. The Lost Millennium's not supposed to be in here. Time out, time out. We got an error 10, but we do have a bonus pack. The Lost Millennium, first edition, probably Euro pack. I don't really know. Very strange looking. Let's see, maybe we can pull an epic ancient gear golem ultimate rare something crazy like that imagine bonus pack with i mean that reminds me if you guys have not seen when the old school expert pulled a first edition blue eyes white dragon i just thought of this because when he pulled the first edition blue eyes white dragon lob it was like seven years ago it was from a pack that somebody sent him for free in addition to his purchase and he pulled it in an error pack with the rare then the first ed blue eyes so you guys have to watch that. That's the first ever one pulled on YouTube and it just doesn't have enough views. It should have way more views. So go check that video. out. I'll try and link it up there if I can find it. All right, here we go. Ancient Year Soldier. Let's do this and let's get the ultimate Ancient Year Golem. Here we go. Dummy Golem. King of the Skull Servants. It wasn't the ultimate, but it's an ultra rare Ancient Year Golem out of a free pack. Bam! Bam! What is this video? This is insane! Not only was that pack not supposed to be in there, but it had one of the best cards in the set. So I was absolutely freaking out. One of the craziest moments on my channel for sure. And speaking of the craziest moments, we're on to number two. At one point, I bought a ton of unlimited Legend of Blue Eyes blisters. So before we get to the card, there was actually a double blister inside of those blisters. So instead of it having one pack inside the blister, it had two packs. So I will show you the clip of when I figured that one out. We pulled an absolutely crazy error card. All right, LOB, original, unlimited. We're on a cold streak for LOB, but we're on a hot streak for everyone else. So come on, let's combine them together and pull something. All right, believe guys, hit the like button, subscribe for luck. We're getting close to 10,000. We're going to be opening a first edition version of this pack coming up. Mammoth Graveyard. That will be insane. Firegrass. Dark World Thorns. Gaia the Dragon Champion. Secret rare. Wait a second. What is this? Is this gold lettered? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I can't tell on the camera. It looks gold. I'm pretty sure that's a gold letter Gaia. This is a misprint Gaia. Gold letter Gaia. What's so cool about this card is it's supposed to be a secret rare with the silver letter foiling. Instead, it had gold lettering, which is actually a unique misprint. That is not extremely uncommon, but I never seen anyone pull one and I still haven't since then. So being the first to pull that on camera was crazy, especially out of an old school Legend of Blue Eyes Unlimited Blister. It was an awesome experience. And finally, at number one, I was with my friend Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! We and some others were making a over $250,000 purchase of a Legend of Blue Eyes and Metal Raiders case. 
We were verifying the authenticity of the Legend of Blue Eyes boxes on site because we didn't want to get scammed for that much money and all the other buyers were not there so we wanted to check for them. So we opened up one booster box. The first pack that I picked to open up, I pick it up and the slit falls open and I'm going to show you guys what happened afterward. Let's just open this one up and see right. what happens. It's just more excitement than anything else. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, guys. Oh. This is uh, 20 years in the... In the <laughs> this is open. Let's check out what's yeah. in here. Yeah, it just like fell open. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, let's see. We might have to open to a hollow to make sure. Definitely mint. Okay. Yeah. All right, come here. Definitely real cards. Yeah, the cards are 100% real. They would be much redder on the back. And if then they were the not. text would be off too. Okay. Dark gray. Okay. Crimp, crimp. It's a secret rare. Okay, it's 100% real. That's for sure. But it's crimp. That's kind of. So in a PSA 10, it'd be over a thousand dollars. You see the top edge. Yeah. So that's why the pack didn't seal because yeah, that because it was crimped. That, that right there stopped it from the seat crimping. The oh pack. wow! Bring that boy out in the sun. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I was like, what is going on with this pack? Because it just like fell open. Yeah. And the reason is because they sealed it onto the card. Oh. And this is the secret rare. Thing. So yeah, we pulled a crimp secret rare out of the very first pack, verifying the authenticity. We were super worried when we saw that the pack was already open. We thought, oh, maybe it's resealed. But it turns out the card itself was keeping the pack open because it had been crimped down by the machine. Crazy moment. If you enjoyed this one, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic videos like this. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Stoneful Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Daxter, Ian Moose, Junior Barding, and Tai Show, JT Cho, and David FJ. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.